Soji is in the Yamajima Gold Dredge. He got out last time, but he has to go back in. And for what reason? Well, he was in a lot of despair. Just not knowing what to do. Left all alone. Oh. Oh. Isn't there any way to stop all this? I'm so shit. It can't end like this. And what is his objective but to reunite with the dog? The tips say that we need to look for Shu's view. There should be something in his line of sight. And it might be difficult to chase the dog, so shite jack the dog and Shu's views. Damn! What am I supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? Well, we have to activate the incline. Oh, there's Shu. Okay, so there was a level where Akiko was able to sight jack Shu's ghost. For whatever reason, Soji is able to do it now. So that's Shu's ghost. And he's looking up uh, on the on the catwalk. Oh, he, he moved. He's somewhere else now. I think that's the guardhouse underground. All right. Well, that's not who I want, but I want. Yeah, that's who I want. So we're going to get past this guy the same way that we did the first time around. Again, we need to activate this incline. Once again, we need to ride the trolley. Like how happy Soji seems to be riding something. We need to reunite with Shu. Actually, something we could take a look at is if our inventory is any different in Mission 2. And it is. We have this, the storeroom key. A key acquired in the underground passage. It can be used to open the door to a storeroom in the Yamajima Gold Dredge. So I guess Soji must have picked up this key in a previous mission, and it can be used in a storeroom in this level. But before we can get to that storeroom, we have to deal with this guy. Now... It was mentioned to me during the break that this Yamabito that this Yamabito is Takayaki I can't tell his voice is distorted well that's Shu talking not Takayaki where is Shu by the way Okay, Shu is in a room somewhere, looking at something that's on some shelves. So that's where we have to go. Alright, so let's do the thing that we did before. It's going to go a little differently this time, however. Let's see, this, this guy doesn't really look like Takayaki. I mean, like, 
I can't really see the face, and he's, his clothes are very different. And we're gonna run past this. Just get in here. Alright, so he's gonna do something different. He doesn't just leave the level like he did the first time. He's just gonna shoot the lights out this time. So he's just gonna he's gonna guard this door right now. So when we go back, we're gonna have to get around him. But the reason that we're here is to use our key on this door right here. Shoes Ghost. He wanted us to come to find this right here. It's a dog whistle. Which is an archive item. But it's also an item right here. Shu Mikami's treasured dog whistle. It produces a sound at a frequency that humans cannot hear. So right now, it wants us to inspect the guardhouse. I was checking to see if Shu's ghost is around. Doesn't seem like it. The only, one, only person I'm seeing... ...is... ...Takiyaki over here, if that is him. It seems like it could be, because he is saying some things that... ...Takiyaki was saying. It also makes sense why he is such a, a vicious Yamabito. We should not try to fight him. Oh, he's going that way. Well, I'm glad he's feeling good. We got, no, we got away from him, so we're feeling good about that. Let's head down to the guardhouse. got the blower machine room key. That room is the room that a while back, uh, Mamaru shoved a big bowling ball into the vent. So you might remember that room. We got to find that room. It's just, just up here, up these stairs. right over here. Yeah, here's the vent. Well, it says we can use the dog whistle. Oh, hold on. Someone's behind me. Yes, yes, sir? 
Well, maybe we should close this so we can have some privacy. All right, so way earlier in the game, like one of the first missions in the game, Mamoru and Yuri were here, and Mamoru used a crowbar to open up a hole right there. But that hole is too small for a person to go through. But now, way later, Soji's here with a dog whistle. Well, Soji's upset. Sukasa's running away, and yes, Sukasa is alive. There, there she is. Sukasa survived the collapse of that little shack. It has not been seen again until now. All right, Sukasa went back down by the guardhouse. And we saw where she ran, but in case we didn't, let's see. Yeah, Shu's ghost is there looking at it, just in case we missed it. Right, down here? Let's use that whistle again. Ah, oh, you. There she goes again. That's mine. Yeah, that's Soji's lighter that he lost in the military base. And mission accomplished. Very short scene there, and might um, well that might foreshadow some things that we have not seen yet. Let's look at the description of that explosion. The chain reaction of explosions eventually reaches the pylon at the center of the island. Soji is amazed at what he sees. So we well we saw that tower, and of course we know that Mamaru and and uh, uh, Yorto tried to climb that tower. What happened after that? We don't know, but at 22 o'clock, Soji is watching it, watching that tower blow up for whatever reason, but we don't know why. Um, let's have a look at any archive items that we picked up. We got two. Dog whistle, because we encountered Shumikami's spirit. Dog whistle carried by Shumikami. The whistle emits high-frequency sound waves that can only be heard by canines. It is commonly used to issue silent commands to dogs. To the average ear, the whistle sounds like a faint breeze. And 86, Soji's lighter, because we use the dog whistle to call Sukasa. Soji Abi's favorite vintage oil lighter. The surface, which features an engraving of some sort of fiery character, is marred by burns and traces of bite marks. Aww. So Soji had dropped that lighter when he was underground in the military base and he was busting open the wall the door of, uh, of one of the bunkers. Then Ichiko had picked up the lighter when she and Shigeru had been there. Uh, Ichiko then used the lighter later on when she was at the school to light up the incinerator, and she dropped the lighter when she did that. Uh, and I guess Tsukasa must have come by the school at some point and picked up that lighter uh, because she had it here in Soji's level. So now Soji has his lighter back. 
also. I do believe this was actually Soji's final level. So this is the last time we actually get to play as him. We will see him in other cutscenes, but uh, this was the last time that we do actually play as him. Uh, who do we have left available right now? Right, we have a mission with Ikuko and a mission with Yorito up here. So that would mean that the next one up is Ikuko at 20 o'clock as we continue on with Siren 2.